Looking at the title of this video, you might think that a BMP which can shoot down aircraft isn't too special. I mean, theoretically, the BMP-2 could easily shoot down helicopters and other slower, low-flying aircraft, right? But the vehicle we're gonna talk about today is almost the same as a BMP-3, but still very different in its abilities and roles on the battlefield. Perhaps, if you play War Thunder at 10.0, you probably know this vehicle and hate it as well. And if you're unfamiliar with this vehicle, then now is the time to change that. Hello and welcome to the Bobby and Tanks YouTube channel and enjoy this video. The 2S38 Dedicard Seal PVO is a Russian self-propelled anti-aircraft artillery which shoots down unmanned aircraft, cruise missiles, surface-to-air missiles, tactical aircraft and helicopters. To do that, it has an opto-electronic target detection and tracking system. What's so special about this SPAA is that it's a combination of a 57mm automatic gun and the chassis of a BMP-3. But unlike the BMP-3, the 2S-38 does not serve as an IFV and it does not transport infantrymen either. But before we get into more specifications, let's talk more about where the 2S-38 comes from. The 2S-38 was introduced at the military exhibition within the framework of the International Military Technical Forum, Army 2019, on the outskirts of Moscow in Russia. Russia introduced several new types of military equipment that will soon be equipped for the Russian army, and the 2S-38 was one of them. According to an article from the 25th of January 2020, the 2S-38 is already being supplied to the Russian army and according to Rossoboron Export, Russia will introduce the export version in the near future. In Syria, in the midst of all the chaos there, Russia took the opportunity to test a few new weapons there. With a few, I mean 400 of them. The 2S-38 was one of these weapons and was sent there to have its capabilities tested. But why did the Russians come up with such a mobile SPA in the first place? I mean, they have other excellent air defenses such as the Panzer and the Tunguska. Well, the main reason is this. As we've seen in Ukraine by now, there is a very rapid development of unmanned aircraft taking place. This creates a new aerial threat which needs to be eliminated. The problem is just that the current air defense systems haven't been able to effectively deal with those very small and cheap targets. Also, using even the smallest anti-aircraft missiles to shoot down a UAV for example would simply be a waste of money and resources and that was why the Russians decided to come up with something new. So eventually experts proposed the development of a 57mm anti-aircraft artillery system and this automatic gun can use both existing 57mm ammunition as well as electronically controlled bullets and armor piercing rounds. The thought behind this was that the 57mm artillery combined with modern fire control systems could effectively protect ground troops not only from UAV attacks but also from cruise missiles, helicopters and other attack aircrafts. The 2S-38 has its place as a part of a large system which includes various support vehicles. Russia's development of a large caliber SPAA gun mounted on the chassis of a BMP-3 infantry fighting vehicle is surprising for many, especially because air defenses have proven their capability over a long period of time. But according to some sources, the philosophy behind the 2S-38 is completely different. If the Russians would have planned to use larger caliber guns such as 76, 85 or even 100mm, they wouldn't have been able to mount them on the chassis of an IFV. And if they would have chosen a non-IFV chassis, it would have negatively impacted the mobility of the 2S-38, which wouldn't have been the point of this development. Because for ground forces, the mobility of such an SPA is very important. They must be able to move together with tanks and IFVs and be capable of crossing water without having to make a lot of preparations first. If a heavier chassis was used, the 2S-38 wouldn't have been able to do so. And so, that 57mm gun was seen as the optimal caliber for such a weapon system to bring enough firepower and ammunition. Next to the 57mm gun, it also has a 7.62mm machine gun. For the Panzer or the Tunguska, the combat effectiveness against unmanned aircraft relies mainly on their 30mm cannon. Problem is that these have relatively low operational efficiency, on the other hand, using missiles to shoot them down is too expensive. That is why the 2S-38 is pretty much the ideal solution to that because it's 57mm ammunition fitted with electronical fuses and modern optical sight devices is able to destroy many different aerial targets at a maximum range of 6 km when the target flies at a maximum speed of 1800 km an hour. Now let's get into some more specifications. The 57mm cannon has a rate of fire of 120 rounds per minute. Doing the math, that means it shoots 2 rounds per second. The amount of ammo stored in the 2S-38 is 148 rounds. 
The effective range is estimated at about 4.5 kilometers. The optoelectronic reconnaissance armament has a wide field of view and covers 360 degrees with a maximum range of 12 kilometers. Now let's get to armor. Unlike the BTR-80, as I recently found out, the tube S-38 can be shredded into pieces that easily. The hull and the turret is made of welded aluminum alloy armor and the frontal arc is protected by composite armor which is able to resist up to 30mm armor piercing bullets, while the hull can resist 14.5mm armor piercing bullets. The 2S-38 can have ERA explosive reactive armor fitted on it if needed. It also has MBC protection to protect the crew from nuclear, biological and chemical weapons. On top of that, it has an automated fire extinguisher system and, in regards to cover, it has a set of smoke grenades and much like the Soviet-era combat vehicles, it can pump fuel into the exhaust to create a smoke screen. When it comes to the crew, the 2S-38 has a crew of 3, a commander, a gunner and a driver. Now let's briefly talk about its mobility. The 2S-38 is powered by a UTD-29 V10 diesel engine which is located at the rear of the vehicle and brings 500 horsepower. It also has a hydraulic suspension which can be adjusted to suit each type of terrain. As it uses the BMP-3's chassis, the 2S-38 also has the ability to move in water thanks to its two water jets. When entering a defensive position, it can use a self-entrenching blade mounted at the front to dig itself into the ground. After combat missions, the 2S-38 probably has to reload. For that, there's a 9T-260 ammunition supply vehicle which is based on a 6x6 military truck and can carry 57mm ammunition for the main gun as well as liquid cooling for the gun. Reloading the 2S-38 takes about 20 minutes. One 9T-260 can reload two 2S-38 at the same time. In general, you could say that the 2S-38 serves as a great addition in the Russian air defenses and it also fills a gap to shoot down unmanned aircraft with its cannon. Ground forces such as troops, IVs and tanks will be thankful for the 2S-38 to protect them from incoming missiles, close air support aircraft such as helicopters and strike aircraft. Anyways, that was all I had to say for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you think I said anything that is not right or you think I should have added any additional information to this video, please let me know in the comments and share your knowledge. Besides that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.